Hey everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to create animations using SketchUp and Theorender. Um, for this tutorial, I use SketchUp Make 2016 um, and Render. So, um, here we go. Okay, so I have my um, rendering. This is a Tudor style home I worked on um, maybe a week or two ago. Um, so, for starters, what you're going to want to do is um, go up to your view. Once you have your um, drawing open, go up to views, go up to um, select animations, and add scene. So I'm going to start the scene here. So this scene is set. And I'm just going to do one other scene. I'm not, I'm not trying to do some, you know, multiple... It's, it's not going to be a long rendering. It'll probably be about four seconds or so. So basically, I just I just take my pan tool and just move over to the left, about right there. And once that sets in, we're going to go back up to view. Animation, add scene. So I have my scene. I have... I want my animation just to go right to from right to left. Just a quick animation. You know, so you can see it here. Starts there. Then I'll move just like that. Once the animation is complete. And even though this is going to be a short animation, it actually takes forever. <laughs> so in the rendering screen, the two things you want to worry about. On this first tab, rendering tab, samples, it's automatically set at 512, and then your rendering time. So this is what this means. For this 512, it's 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 basically gonna render 512 samples, right? But your time, it, it tells you this this tells it how long you want it to render for before it moves on to the next one. You put I want 60 minutes, an hour, each rendering. It's going to take it longer to rent, to complete the animation, because what it does is it just spits out different frames, different pictures. And once you get all those frames together, it could be it can be 90 to thousands of different frames. You'll put it into like an iMovie or something like that, and you uh, you adjust the uh, time lapse between each picture and it creates the video for you so I just for a test run I did 20 minutes which is not a great rendering 20 minutes for like for this it depends on your computer too if you have a faster stronger computer 20 minute rendering is probably amazing depending on your your computer but uh, 20 minutes uh, leave it at 512 so then, once you have that set, you go to your animation, and then um, add your, it's, it's set at 24 frames per second. Um, I just leave all this the way it is, and I just render animation. So as you can see, just like if you're doing a still rendering, it's just going through the rendering process, but all it's going to do, it's going to render each frame. So remember, we created the, the uh, right to left animation and SketchUp itself, it's going to render through um, that animation from right to left. Um, depending on how much time you put, I put 20 minutes, so each rendering would be 20 minutes. And you can see here what a 20 minute rendering would possibly look like, but here's the final animation after all the uh, frames were rendered. Also, keep in mind that I actually did the um, animation rendering on my laptop and on my laptop I have the student version of Thea Render so you're gonna see the Thea Render logo um, try to look past the Thea Render logo and see how smooth the actual animation is um, the Thea Render logo the way it moves a bit it could look like it's a little stagnated or whatever so anyway that's the tutorial um, I hope it was informative I hope you learned how to do an animation on your own, um, leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.